Welcome back to Metro Last Light. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough of this series. This will probably be the last in the series. Um, the views have been pretty low, and so I just surmise from that that it's um, it's probably not been watched by many people in the channel. So, anyway. Let's move on. Uh, in the last episode, Yuri got himself captured, so we've got to go and rescue the douchebag. So, hope you're going to like this one. So, let's crawl along here and see if we can find Yuri. He's in window number one. There he is. You wouldn't abandon me. I knew it. You're a true comrade. I mean, you debt for life. Now get me out of here and I'll lead you home in no time. Fuck! Fuck, they're coming for me! Gonna take me to the noose! Good luck, my friend! You're my only hope now! Come on, get your ass out here, you fucking commie rat. As you can tell, Yuri's been making lots of friends while he's been incarcerated. Uh, they love Yuri a lot. So, we've got to continue through here. Sounded like they're going to do something nasty to him. He said we've got to save him from the noose. Which is never good. He's on the right hand side. We can't get through there, so we just got to keep crawling. Probably get down there though. I would suggest. Yep. Okay, we'll drop down. Be warned, this is about <laughs> it's about to get a little bit more intense, so we can't go that way. Though those are all locked, so the only way to go is straight forward and around the corner. And there's a heap of guys down there, just blow that out so they can't see us. There we go. Oh, hi, in the head. Here we go, he's down now. Yeah, they know we're here. We're just going to hide back here. Just see, no, we don't want to knife them. See if they come round and say hello. Really enjoying this game. I, I, like I said in my uh, first intro to the game, it's one that I had for a while. Got distracted, didn't play it, and then um, I'm glad I've come back to it. Now we should we should shoot that light out there. We need to surprise him. He's got no idea where we are. Still to the head. No, he's run away. It's all right. So it's up to you how you play this game. If you manage to grab it, it's not too expensive, um, especially the Redux uh, version where you get both games. You get oh hi. I right, have a seat. There you go. Now we're, oh, is he dead? Yeah, he is. Um, I'm gonna go and hide in here. Yeah. So if if he, it depends. I I tend not to be too stealthy and that's pretty much how I play all my <laughs> all the games that I play I haven't got the patience to be stealthy but you could you could sneak around here and you don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing here and getting rid of all these guys by the gun so to speak you can pretty much you know sneak up figure out the part and sneak up and kind of take them down stealthily but, um, there you go, doing that kind of stuff. Because it gets things done a bit quicker. Jeez, that guy didn't want to go down, did he? I'll just reload. And, um, yep, yeah, I just keep coming back here. This is a technique I've used in a lot of different um, a lot of different games that I've played over the years. And uh, just drop back. See what they're doing. I should see that. If I was you, I'd shoot at that light up to the left there. Oh, hi. But they, luckily, they're very cooperative and they line up <laughs> for me like that in the hallway. Just back off and see if they're going to come around the corner. I'm surprised they haven't come through that door to the right um, anytime soon. You can see the lights kind of come through the wall, so you know they're coming high. Hi. It's almost as if they're above us. Hi. And this is like, this is just, um, yeah, we'll shoot that out. It's like a little choke point there. 
where you can just lead them in. See, like that, that lot it looks as though it's, it's, it's going here. Where are you? Ah. The choke point's working well. There we go. Okay, I need some more ammunition in a minute, but as I say, oh, hi. Oh, kick. It's not nice. This pistol is awesome. Takes them down in about one shot. It's like a shotgun pistol. And as you can see, there's a few guys that don't like me being in here. But once we clean this area out. Yes, please, we'll take those. Um, you really don't have to worry about getting... This is what I like about this series. You really don't have to worry about getting guns straight up because you pick up some fantastic guns. And once you get used to um, what they all do, you'll be able to um, very quickly figure out the guns that work for you. And um, you'll be pretty um, effective at killing fools. Or taking full stand. Okay, I think we've got pretty much the majority of those guys, and we've picked them clean as far as ammunition goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up above and just see if there's any uh, I can spot any more people here. And so you can actually, you can see, if you were stealthy, you could have just sneaked along here and up over here, and you, you, you have you suddenly have the high ground. Let's see what we've all got here. A couple of pistolas. And you can switch the lights off. Like that. Cool. And the more you're in the dark, the better. You know, you got the high ground, you could have picked a whole lot of guys off. If you've got a silenced weapon as well. Although it, it does tend to alert them regardless of whether it's silenced or not. Yeah, sparking. Okay. Maybe down here. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of looting down here before we go forward. Anything in the loo? Nothing. Okay, and always, always spend a lot of time having a good look around. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not a stretch for me because if you've watched my Fallout 4 playthroughs, you know that I'm, um, I have an addiction to looting, so I'm quite happy, quite comfortable with them. Um, and you can see I'm being very cautious, quite comfortable with looting. I'm being very cautious here because usually when I'm not cautious is when I get myself in trouble. Now, I've picked that one up. It's the same gun, but it has a laser sight, so it will help your accuracy a lot. Can I stand up? There we go, it's better. What's that? What's in here? Nothing much. So, just replenish, get all this done, and then we'll move forward. This does get quite intense, so that's where you would have normally sneaked through. You could have switched the light off. I love the way they've designed this. There's your nut. You can take those knives out of the board if you want, if you're deficient on um, throwing knives. I, I don't tend to use throwing knives probably as much as I should in this game. Um, I just like using um, ballistic weapons. I guess. Oof, the fire's so good. What's that? No, something cooking. Yeah. Ooh, dear. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Right, you hope so. We're going the right way. We're going to the freezer where they've got all their meat. They're fairly well stocked though, I'll give them give the tip. You've been down here for years. 
Uh, where do we go up through here? Ooh, and now they're growing stuff. Hope that's illegal. Oh, oh hang on. Just saw somebody. Oh, it's saving. It's saving. Now, wait. Sneak in here. You can see that doorway is a beautiful choke point. So, again, you can do a lot of damage from that spot there. It's like a power position. And they'll come filtering in through the door. Now, one thing that I have um, learned in this game, once you get guns that you're happy with, keep them. <laughs> I'll keep changing them. There's a few oh, a few armoured dudes there. A bit more heavily armoured. Let's have a good look around. Here, I'm stuck now. We're all the way back around. Bathtubs. Growing in bathtubs. I don't know quite what that is. There's a guy there. Should really shoot those lights out or find the um, switch. See, I can't help myself. I could be stealthy, but I can't help myself. Hi. Oh, there's a guy right there. Hi. Have a seat and run away. And so, you're now in the dark. Ooh, is that a melon? You're now in the dark, so you can actually line them up through this door here. Because they'll come in. Yeah, see that guy? Hi. Have a seat. Here you go. There's another one. See, he's coming to see what that happened to him. And so you can just keep lining them up. Oh, is that another dude? I'll have your bullets, sir. Thank you so much. You won't be needing those anymore. Thank you. <laughs> They're looking for me. See, this guy's a little bit more heavily armoured. So it takes a few more bullets to take him down. But this is not a bad ranged weapon. And he has got no idea where I am. He's run the, the completely the wrong way. Completely the wrong way. Like he's here somewhere. I don't know quite where. Come on back. Come on. I'm over here. Where all the bodies are. Just to give you a clue. There we go. I'll give him a couple of spray. A bit of a spray. Take his bullets. I already have. Oh, hi. You can't see me, can you? Here we go. Have a seat, sir. Just see if we can take any more of these. No, we can't. We're all maxed out. Ooh, no, I see that's the same gun as I had. I think it's just got a silencer on it. Okay. So if you can get one with a laser sight on that, like that, that's what you want. Now we're going to creep around and find this guy. That one I think has a silencer and a laser on it. And a night scope. So that's a better pick up than what we were using. Sure we get everything. Yep. Night scope's good. He's there. Yeah. Yep, there he is. Oh, he's got extra armor. You see that you see his armor come off? Where are you going now, man? Come on. Let's reload it. Nice, thank you. Make 
so we get all maximize all the bullets in here all the ammunition we're going to sneak up on this guy he's going to have no idea we're going to go through there in a while Oh, I must have got that dude. What's through here? Anything? Nothing. Let's lock it. I think that's locked too. Yep. That's just a little alcove to sneak into if you need to. Like an armory in here, look at that. I must have got that gone. I oh, didn't think we got him as quickly as that, but anyway. All good. In the hood. Okay. So we'll drop. So we can drop down the there, or there's another door further up. So you can see I'm maximizing what I'm doing. Make sure that we're not missing anything. But I think this this looks like it's going to take us straight. Oh, holy dooly! Holy dooly! So, for this area here, my advice is stay at the top of the stairs. And you've got this little area here to to kind of duck it back in, and you're going to have to duck back in because there's a lot of dudes out here. Jeez, Yuri, you're in deep, man. See the things you put me through. Here's a guy there. That's a headshot. Attention, we've got company. Yeah. Okay, so duck back in here. Let them have a little bit of a roam around. They got no idea you're in here. They know that you're shooting, but they don't know where. And because we picked up that silenced weapon, they, it doesn't. They can't quite figure out where we are. It's good at range this weapon here. Whew, there's a few, a few bullets flying everywhere. We're okay for ammunition. We're pretty, pretty good for ammunition at this point. So, as it gets a bit down, and take your time. Just take your time. He's one of those armored dudes, isn't he? Whoosh. strategy already. They're kind of hard to spot some of these guys. That's a headshot. You can actually get underneath and you'll see in a while. I think we go down underneath. But if you go to the bottom of the stairs it's all you'll get hurt pretty quickly they'll take you down very very quickly if you go down to the bottom of the stairs here so well, high ground is always better and they are very good at standing in front of your gun it's one thing I do like about these guys this has got a bit of range too. I want to take those heavily armoured guys down as quickly as you can though. Because you don't want to go one on one with them. Surprisingly though, they're, they're these, they won't come up the stairs to you. They'll stay down the bottom here. Which is good. It would have been a lot harder if they, they actually like came up. And wanted to pursue you. They will come right to the base of the stairs, but they won't go any further than that, at least the couple of playthroughs that I've done. And I'm just feathering the shot there. Rather than keep your finger down on the trigger and go boom 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 boom. Just feather it. What I mean by feather is just kind of um, one shot at a time in rapid succession. And it stops the recoil. I control the recoil a little bit. So you're a little bit more accurate. Come on, peek. Come on, peek your head out. Did I get him? I'm going to investigate now. You think the place is clear. You're about to see that 
There's a heck of a lot more guys around than you actually anticipate. Now, there's some loots to be had in here somewhere. There and there. Take some of those. Take that gun if you like. But like I said to you before, Mark advice is once you find a gun you like hi see even i thought that guy was down here already um stick with it stick with the gun guns that suit you oh teddy bear hi teddy teddy bear Ooh. there's a guy above us somewhere now you could sneak down here and shoot them shoot from above if you like i don't know what nah, we'll watch what happens once I st you can't get through there, but you've got to go come out, stick my head up here. And oh, there's a few guys up there that I haven't spotted yet, so I'm going to go all the way back this way. There we go. Down at the base of the stairs, and then we'll just sit here. Now, they, they will come up to the base of the stairs, so be warned. They will push quite a bit in. And these guys with the lasers are pretty accurate, as you can see. I might just, <laughs> just change the angle a little. And keep these guys at range. If you try and go out there and um, take on those guys one-on-one, -on -one, it's not going to end well for you, I can tell you. There's too many of them. If we could shoot this guy, it'd be good. I'm putting a lot of bullets on him, but he doesn't want to uh, cooperate. Still going on his down there. That's the slowest dying I've ever seen. Okay, so let's go and clean up the bullets. Let's get some more ammunition back. It's interesting. That's got an interesting scope on it. However, I'm happy with the weapon I've got at this point. So we're going to come clean all this up. And uh, move on. See if we can find, get a bit further forward to finding Yuri. And of course, have a good look around because you never know what might be hiding around the place. Nothing in there, nothing to see. A lot of people were lying around having to sleep here, eh? Let's go and have a look over here. Hi. Resting your head. To see what's along here. See if we miss of course we can switch the lights all off, so if you're looking you want to sneak in here and switch the lights off, it's on this side. So you could actually come through here pretty quickly post up in here start picking people off now as is common with other games um, once you get past a certain point it will trigger a whole lot of enemies that's exactly what's about to happen here I'm just having a good look around make sure I haven't finished uh, missed anything before I move forward so you might have spotted if you were keen eyed there you go there's a few guys. Shoot his tank. If you shoot his tank, he'll explode. There's a few guys posted up here. Now, this is not a bad spot here, but these guys look as though they're all armoured. It's nothing. And they will, and they do get fairly aggressive. Hence why I'm backing off a bit. Just see if we can funnel on through here. There we go. See that? Another choke point. He doesn't like it much. Actually, that might be a good option. One of those guns to one shot them. Where's he going? There you go. Did I get it? There's no way I got him. Yeah, he's down there. Look. He's hitting me flanking. Surprise! Here we go. Takes a few shots, but we'll get him. 
Get that light at my eyes, there we go, thank you. There's another guy in there. You get it? No, there's another guy. You can see his um you can see his laser. We'll keep these guys guessing. That guy yeah, he just took his time, didn't he? Feels like there should be a book in here. <laughs> I don't know why, but the, it just feels as though there should be a book in here. Some bullets. Now, this is the area I was talking about. You can go in underneath there. Yeah, it just feels like it's been a while since we saw one of those diaries. There should be a diary in here somewhere. I don't think I'll find it, but... <laughs> Go down under here if you like. There's a little transition area. And that's the area we're in before. Okay. That just looks around. Comes out here. And this should put you right next to the control room. Yeah, it does. The control room that you shot those guys in is just above, and there's the light switch is right there. All good. What was that? Oh no, no, I don't want to do that. I'll just switch them off. It's weird how that. See where that trigger was? That's weird. Anyway, it's just weird. We got everybody? I think we have. Looks like it. Ooh, fish. Fish for tea. Okay, enough faffing around guys, we've got to go up there. Aha, uh -huh. knew it. There's a safe, I haven't found the key to the safe yet. Dagger. Okay, never mind. We're going to go in here, up there. See if we can find anything. Ooh. Knew there was a diary in here somewhere. There you go. You can pause that at your leisure and read that. If you're into, there's the key for the safe. There you go. So we can go back down and open the safe now and get the goodies. So if you're into, I don't know. I'd be interested to know in the comments below um, if you're into the, the reading all these things that some of these games um, throw up. Or not? Um, I generally don't. I generally just like to play the game. I don't spend a lot of time reading notes like that. But um, I probably <laughs> it probably make life easier. But it's just something I have. I just got in the habit of not doing. Okay, so I guess we've got to press something in here to get something to work. But um, oh, radio? No, anything? Oh, that switch there. So we're going to press that. Not sure quite what that does. And press that. Now, initially I think it's that. But it's not. It's actually down underneath. You'll see in a minute. Oof, that's not your best angle, mate. Sorry. It's a lift. Ooh, I've got an achievement. Thank you, Xbox Engineer. No idea what I got that for, but... Okay, no... Something moved. Okay. Must be down here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, in under here. This wasn't open before. Where are you, Yuri? Man, we're coming. I'm coming, mate. I'm coming. I'm very trying. Oh, what the heck was that? That was some kind of trip device or something. Get a heal up. Yep. Thank you. Miner's helmet. Where are we going? Yuri, we're coming, mate. It's saving. I'm saving, so I must be getting close. Let's see if we can find Yuri in here. Just well, my thing guy. Oh, oh. Fuck you, Fritz! Get to the Nazis! And they will come! Remember! He doesn't make friends easily, does he, good old Yuri? 
I'm going to stay up and kill this guy. Oh. There you go. Feel the power of my knife. <laughs> Try and shoot him down. You don't. You just. Yeah, he's choking. There you go. We'll do that. Hey, Yuri. How you doing, buddy? Having fun yet? <laughs> <coughs> Let's move! It's gonna be another Stalingrad around here! Oh no, I think they're they think I think they know we're here. Never mind you're looting. The guys are can come on, let's get out of here. Quick. Follow Yuri. Job done. Oh I dragged Pavel out of the noose, and he says he's going to take me as close to police as possible. Then I'll contact the Order and report on everything that has happened. The path to the legendary theater lies through the catacombs. I've never been here before, and without my new friend I'd probably be completely lost. I hope he knows the way. There you go guys, job done, saved Yuri. Life is good. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!